Today, this is the only stash that I will allow myself to use in my art channel. A palette knife, a black Pasca pen marker, three Neocolor 2 crayons, some white paint fresco finish from Paper Artsy, a sponge, a sharpener, washi tape, and two of my stencils. <laughs> Hello my lovely butterfly, it's France. Welcome to this channel on Monday 216. As I showed you in the intro today, I'm really limiting myself to the bare minimum, but nonetheless, we can still create a spread using only that. So join me, grab your stuff, and let's get cracking. We're gonna start by sticking down some of that washi tape. And I decided to stick it alongside the two edges, left and right, but you do you and you stick it down in a way that makes you happy. In the end, this is your journal. You're the one who has to be happy with the end result. And while we're doing this, I can already let you know that I have a surprise for you at the very end of this video. Stay tuned. I didn't mention the scissors in the intro of this video because, well, I guess this is something that we all have at home and otherwise you can just rip the tape. Next up, we're gonna add some of that white paint. Now I am using white fresco finish, which is a chalk paint, or you can just use gesso. Don't use a regular acrylic paint because as we will be using water soluble crayons, they don't really work well with regular paint. Don't clean the excess paint away just yet. We're going to use that by sharpening one of the water-soluble crayons directly in the leftover paint. I'm using Neo Colors, but you can use whatever water-soluble crayons you have laying around. Sharpen it, use those little shards to mix them up with water and then mix that up to that paint. And if you don't have a spray bottle, just drip the water directly in there. That is what the palette knife comes in handy for, and it is to mix all of that nicely together. Now you really need to work that crayon shard thing into the water to melt it and to blend everything together. Next, we're going to pick up some of that mixture with a sponge and then start applying it on the spread. And then you can add some more water directly on the paper to blend it and to soften it down. You can apply as much or as little as you want, just have fun with it and play around. And if you have too much or if you want to soften it down, just take a cloth and lift it back up. Thank you. 
And just like me, you probably still have some of those crayon charts not melted and still sticking to your palette knife. Well, let's just use that and apply that on the paper as well. Going in with the other water-soluble crayons that we have, we can add some interest by adding hints of color here and there. And you can make this as soft or as intense as you want. I really want to go for a soft effect, so I'm adding just a little bit of color. If you want this to be more intense, just add more color. And then again, we're going to blend it out using some water. And if you're not following my Instagram, you might not know this, but I'm also into pottery. So this is one of my own little made pots here at home. Before I move on to the next step, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you receive notifications when a new video comes up. So don't forget to hit the little bell as well. Activate the Posca pen paint marker and then just pick up some of that paint with some water to add some drama to the edges. You know I like a black edge, so let's just use that marker to do that. And if you want it to be more intense, you can just scribble directly on the paper and blend it right there.
adding some of that black might make that other colors that we've applied too soft. So you can intensify those. You can go back in and add some more, however you feel like doing this. The next thing is normally something that I would stamp, but you don't even need a stamp. You don't even need a stencil to do this. You can just do this with the black marker and go ahead and trace some crosses. But I wanted to use the stencil so that all the little crosses would be nicely aligned. So don't let the not having a stencil stop you. Just take that black pen and add some crosses to the spread or circles or triangles or whatever it is you feel like adding. Now, my favorite way of using a black Posca pen is to flick it on the spread to add splatters. To fasten up the drying, I do use a heat gun. You can use a hairdryer to do this, or you can even just use patience and let it air dry. Again, I'm going to do this with a stencil, but if you don't have a stencil, you can do this just by tracing it on the paper. So we're filling in the openings with some scribbling of the neo color and then very slightly dabbing some water on top of it. Don't add too much water, otherwise it will just run underneath the stencil if you're doing this with a stencil or it will just run all the way on the spread if you're not using a stencil. You can create a gradient by the intensity of how much scribbling it is you're adding when doing this. You can do this in a monochromatic way, but you can also blend the colors by applying them together in the opening of the stencil, or like I'm doing here, one after the other.
let's add some depth to this. Now, this is something you cannot do if you didn't use a stencil because we need to replace the stencil slightly shifted and then put some of that white paint over it. And this will create a dimensional something on the paper. Now, make sure that you dab the excess paint off before going in over the stencil. If like me, you love splatters, just add a little bit of water to that white paint, pick it up with your palette knife and then flick it on the paper. We can even do this with the water-soluble crayons that we have been using. Just scribble a little bit with your crayon, add some water to that, pick that up with the palette knife and again flick it over the paper to have yummy splatters. We're going to add the text in the same kind of dimensional way that we did for the extra dimension on the background. And I'm using the stencil to write my text, but again, you can do this freehanded if you feel brave enough, but it's going to be harder to do that with the two color combination. And as we have washi tape, there's no cheating in this video. I'm not picking out anything else than what I said at the beginning and no cheating here. I can use the washi tape to make it easier to just have that one thing stamped on the paper as I go over it with the sponge. So this time we're going to start with the wide and then go back over it with the black pen again to have something dimensional on the paper. Talking about no cheating, I redid a spread exactly like this. Well, not exactly, using the same stash um, together with my patrons. We had so much fun doing this during one of our hangouts. Um, they felt a little bit limited being only allowed to use what I used for this spread. But like I said, so much fun. But in my second making of this spread, which is slightly different, I didn't use the stencil to add the text. I just wrote directly on the spread and I'll share that one on my Instagram and the link to that is in the description of this video.
The ink did bleed a little bit under the stencil. I don't care. Sometimes when you stamp, even with the best stamps and the best ink in the world, you can still have accidents. So this is all part of the game. Let's add some more detail. We're taking some more of that black paint and then using our palette knife, the edge of the palette knife dipped in that paint, we can do some mark making on the spread. Now you can do this with a card. Just make sure it's not your credit card because it might die in the process. So make sure it's a card that you no longer need or a lid or whatever it is you can dip into that paint and then press on the paper. I did talk about this in the stamp video that I did in one of the channel on Monday episodes. Take a moment to have a look at your spread and see what it is missing for you. For me, it's missing some of that rust color accent. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that. Before I show you the finalized spread, remember that minimum stash that we started with? Well, I have a full package of one of those up for you to win on my Instagram account. And that is the surprise that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So head over to my Instagram, follow the link in the description of this video and see what it is you can do for a chance to win one. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. See you back here next time and meanwhile don't forget to put down a layer a day in a mindful way butterfly kisses